YouTube, Twitter, Fancy Prince, or SoundCloud, SoundCloud, it's your boy, Tom Toe, too. Uh, what up, Snapchat, Instagram, the gram. How do you on the gram? <laughs> How do you on the gram? Uh, this is another excerpt of my New World Order video I put out. Uh, I didn't get a lot of views on it, but I started getting comments. And, uh... One individual said he lives in Texas, and what I was saying about Texas, he said, you know, he wanted to confirm what I was saying is true about how they're ramping up for something big. When I say they, I mean the military. And like I said, I live next to a military establishment. These apartments I live in are, uh, they all look the same and unified because they were military like military families live here and some of them still do so there there is a big ramp up going on because i see a lot of military equipment uh over here and i'm gonna start filming it i just won't film the military establishment itself because uh i don't want no part of that and it's fenced off now mind you i'm ex-military myself so some of the things going on i recognize uh and i was in during wartime so as far as large ramp ups go, uh, I was in when we had one, except this ramp up is not for war against an, an enemy that is across the water, the desert. It's against us. Uh, the enemy is us. And, um, you know, we're going to have to get that in our head that we aren't and never have been free. Uh, what we are is living on borrowed time. And uh, I say it again that every king, queen, all of our presidents, they have killed millions of us. And, uh, you know, our current president isn't any different. And our next president isn't going to be any different than that. Uh, Hillary already has blood on her hands. So, you know, but uh, she's not a megalomaniac like Donald Trump. And uh, <laughs> Donald Trump is the whitest man ever. Like, when I say that, like, I don't even, like, I don't, I'm not prejudiced. But Donald Trump is so arrogantly white. He is, his comments that he says about people, even his own race, about women, about, like, he's, I mean, the man has constantly said he wanted to sleep with his own daughter. Like, his sense of entitlement is ridiculous. And the fact that he lost $1 billion and blames it on the economy and all this other stuff, you should just look into some of his excursions and some of the things he invested in that, that just weren't any good. Uh, but his arrogance is just his elitist attitude you know, he's like, he's not for the working people. He's not for black people. He's not for the Hispanic people. He's not for Muslims. He's the whitest dude you will, you will ever see. Like that dude right there. He completely, you know, uh, anyways, it takes somebody like him to just start destroying stuff. And the Titus all in, he mentioned, uh, during a meeting a couple months ago that why can't he use nuclear weapons I said this in my last video you know how the Senate had a meeting and they wanted to have the president have all this power that he can just push the button without anybody else telling him no now <laughs> recently we just had uh, there's there's been a scare because there's been two blackjack uh, bombers came out of Russia and <laughs> they're supersonic bombers and what they do is what they did was they skirted along the outskirts of European countries and so they went along France and Europe and you know well France is in Europe but parts of Europe and you know, and uh, so what those countries did was they scrambled jets to intercept them. And they didn't shoot them down because 
these planes, uh, I think I'm getting bit. These planes returned to their, uh, they returned uh, to Russia. But nonetheless, it happened. And we have to consider that. We have to consider, you know, for one, blackjack bombers are, what's happening, man? Okay, yeah, I'll put them in the uh, mailbox for you. Yeah. Let me know when you're done reading the other ones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Uh, so blackjack, okay, here's uh, the blackjack bombers are supersonic bombers, and it, they have the capability to drop nuclear weapons, and that's that's the whole deal. This is why they scramble so much. Now, if it was a pair of Meg, Meg fighters, probably wouldn't happen. I did get that, but being that it was uh, supersonic bombers that could drop uh, nuclear weapons on us, uh, they just, you know, and so forth. They, they went off. They was like, nah, we not having that. You know what I'm saying? We not having that. So they were going to gun them down. And, uh, you know, they were going to gun them down. But, uh, you know, supersonic bombers, they're not slow. They're not like, you know, the, you know, the World War II, World War I bombers. You know, the bombers had to, the bombers needed to be protected by the, uh, <laughs> you know, by other smaller planes. Then they dropped a bunch of them because the bombs were, because the bombers were slower. Those days are gone. These bombers look like, uh, they look like, um, what's that French airplane? Uh, the supersonic airplane they used to have. Uh, somebody help me out with that. I'm hungry, that's why I can't remember all this. But anyway, so as far as World War is concerned, like a move like that, because if you don't know, Russia can't stand us. Uh, Russia's allies is China. Um, uh, let's see, Ahmad Ahmadinejad is the president of Iran, and uh, then Kim Jong Il's son, which is North Korea, and uh, and then of course other Middle Eastern countries that uh, we've been over there just killing them. I'm pretty sure that if America goes down, they're going to be happy about it. So it would take them nothing to ally with any of these countries. And although we think that, ah, they're, you know, they're just a small group of whatever, listen, every single person will count. You know what I mean? It's you. I don't count nobody out. If they got, if they got the capability to fight, then I don't count them out. I don't care if they. <laughs> I don't care if they're living in the mountains of whatever. You know, up in Mount Ararat somewhere. Uh, goat herders from Mount Ararat. If they don't like America, then I consider them. You know possible threat. If you don't know where Mount Ararat is or what the story about Mar Mount Ararat is, look it up. I just threw it in there, but I want to see if somebody actually look, looks up what's the significance of Mount Ararat. I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not even going to tell you. So, but like I said, the enemy is us. And uh, once again, you know, the Inca and the Mayan, those kingdoms that they had were torn apart from the inside and then the conquistadors came and conquered them because of religion uh the romans 
they were conquered from the inside by religion and um, you know religion of the sun god and religion of the Christ god uh, sun god meaning the emperor at the time or the Caesar who considered himself God and uh, you know once Christ came people started to turn into Christianity and so you know they were conquering themselves and then Boudicca came in and you know helped finish them off only in the east in the western uh, there were two kingdoms uh, Roman kingdoms so in the western was where Con uh, Con um, Constantine is or was in the Council of Nicaea who created the Bible who put the words together and uh, or said how many books were going to be in the Bible and ones that aren't and ones that aren't uh, but there, but there's there's different Bibles. There's also the Book of Maccabees. So there's the Apocrypha, Book of Life, Book of Death. So there's all those that are all holy books, Dead Sea Scrolls. Anyways, but nonetheless, and our country is tearing itself apart the same way. It's tearing apart. It's tearing apart because of the same thing. Uh, because of one religion is a huge reason uh, we are divided. Uh, we can't. <laughs> just can't seem to get over uh, our beliefs and we want to kill each other because of it that's why there's a lot of murder going on here is because of religious beliefs and there's a lot of division because of religious beliefs and you know and, and then you have the whole you know transgender homosexuality and that's still causing friction and you know people are against that and, and I don't understand why but well it's it's because of religion. That's that's why. It's because of religion. But um. Anyway, so I'll talk more on the New World Order, and um, yeah. Don't forget to check out my album just right there.